Thank you for your interest in the screw-on type engine retainers. The advantage of these is it allows you to insert the rocket motor quickly into the back end of the rocket, screw it on, and it's ready for flight. The same goes for after the flight, you can just pop it off real quick and you can plug in a new motor and go. So the screw-on types are really good for that. Allows you to do quick change on engine removal and insertion. Uh, the question that people have is which motor retainer should I get for my rocket? They, uh, there are a quite a few variety of engine retainers. Uh, like for example, here we have three tubes. We have a paper tube, a fiberglass tube, and a tube that's made out of blue tube, which is a uh, type of fish paper. Uh, the difference in these tubes, besides the material, is the wall thickness. Uh, the paper and the fiberglass have similar wall thickness where the blue tube is thicker. So the retainer that would fit on a fiberglass tube won't fit on the blue tube. Um, but we do have retainers for blue tube. So here's the secret on how to pick a retainer. First, go to the Apogee website and find the rocket kit that you are going to be building. Look at the pictures, read through it, find out what material the engine tube is made out of. On the Apogee website, we, we will show you in pictures what each uh, rocket is made out of. If it's fiberglass, we're going to tell you because fiberglass is very durable. Um, so on the Apogee website, it's really easy. On other websites, uh, just go to the, like, the manufacturer. For example, uh, here's an Aerotech kit. Um, so I would go to the, uh, to the chart and look on our chart here on the uh, engine retainer page and look up the manufacturer. So if it says Aerotech, buy the one that says it will fit Aerotech tubes. Aerotech makes all their tubes the same size, so this will fit the Aerotech tubes. Another question that people have is, uh, what do you do about the engine hook? Um, well, on that particular case, you have to plan in advance. Uh, the engine hook uh, that Aerotech gives you on their kits and the engine block, take those, throw them out. Uh, you're not going to need them with the engine retainer system. Um, so again, take that engine hook, throw it out. Take the engine block, or they call it a thrust ring, take that out too. You're not going to need it because the engine, the thrust ring is on the back of the engine. And all the high power motors have the thrust ring on the back of the engine. So that when you put them in, they stop. They don't slide in because that thrust ring is already there. And then the engine retainer, as you just saw, just screws on and holds it in place. So again, thank you for coming to the Apogee website, and uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. But again, the sizes are already here. Just take the time, look them up. It will save us some time too, and you'll get your order a lot faster.